Welcome to the Digium D80 IP Phone Training Series, How to Make a Conference Call Video. In this video, you'll learn how to make a conference call with your Digium IP phone and how to set up a personal conference room in the user portal. Sometimes it is helpful to have more than one person in a conversation. Using the conference feature allows you to connect multiple callers. Conferencing is a great way to collaborate with your colleagues, vendors, and customers. You may make a conference call to another extension or number using the on-screen keypad, the contacts application, or the favorites application. Using the conference button for conferencing allows you to connect up to three parties, essentially a three-way call. While on a call, tap the conference button on the caller's call card. This will put the active call on a temporary hold. Then tap the keypad button on the toolbar. When the keypad appears on the screen, dial the extension or phone number of the person to whom you wish to conference in on the call. Tap the green call button. Once you have the second party on the call, tap the complete button on the second caller's call card to connect the calls. You will note the call cards will merge into one card and a conference icon will appear above the call time length. While on a call, tap the conference button on the caller's call card. This will put the active call on a temporary hold. Swipe from the left to right to access the navigation drawer. Tap the contacts button. This will access the contacts application. To locate the contact you wish to call, you may scroll up and down through your contacts. You may also tap the search button at the top right of the screen. Tapping the search button will reveal the search text box and display an on-screen keyboard at the bottom of the screen. You may search either by phone number, first name, or last name using the keyboard. To dial immediately, tap the blue number for the contact. To get more information about the contact, tap the name of the contact you wish to dial. This will open the contact's contact details screen. Tap the dial button to begin the call. The screen will then display the caller's call card. Once you have the second party on the call, tap the complete button on the second caller's call card to connect the calls. While on a call, tap the conference button on the caller's call card. This will put the active call on a temporary hold. You may swipe from the right to left to access your favorites drawer, or you may tap the favorites button on the toolbar to access the full screen favorites app. To locate the contact you wish to call, you may scroll up and down through your favorites. Tap the name of the contact you wish to dial. Once you have the second party on the call, tap the complete button on the second caller's call card to connect the calls. To end a conference call, press the end call button. This will hang up all parties on the call. If you need to continue talking to one party, you may split the call and drop one of the parties. Tap the split button. You now have the ability to resume your conversation with either party by selecting a caller and pressing the resume button. Before setting up a conference in a personal conference room, you will need to access the user portal. To access the user portal, you will need your extension number and password. If you do not have this information, contact your system administrator. Sometimes, you need to conference more than two other parties. This is where a SwitchVox conference room may be helpful. This feature allows you to set up a virtual conference room with a dial-in number for users to call to join your conference. To set up a conference call using a conference room in the user portal, hover over the Features tab. Select the conference room and configure the settings options. Begin by entering a five-digit conference room number of your choice, or click the random generation button to have the system provide one for you. Make a note of this number as you will share it with other conference participants. Once you select a room number, you have several other decisions to make. Start by selecting whether to play a sound and what that sound should be when people enter and exit the conference room whether to play music on hold when only one person is in the conference room, and whether you want users to be able to exit the conference room, and if so, to which extension they will be routed once they leave. You may select the search icon to access your contacts. Next, decide if you want other people in your company to be admins in your conference room. If so, search and select the admins. If you decide to have admins in your conference room, you will need to configure the admin settings. These admin options include whether or not only admins are allowed to talk, 
whether or not the conference call will hang up all attendees if all admins leave the room, and whether or not attendees can only talk in the conference room if one or more admins are in the room. Once all selections are made, click Save Conference Settings. Now, you may invite colleagues inside your company, outside vendors, or even customers to your conference call. When you send your invitations, provide the extension number to the company conference room bridge and the five-digit conference room number that you selected or were assigned. Internal attendees can search for the conference room bridge number in the contacts application under the Meet Me conference room contact or contact your system administrator for assistance. To attend a conference call in a conference room, be sure to have the extension number of the company conference room bridge and the five-digit conference room number that was provided to you. When you call the conference room bridge number, enter the five-digit conference room number when prompted. Thank you for watching the Digium D80 IP Phone Training Series How to Make a Conference Call video.